Hello, good day there, Mr. Macknack with another podcast. Today we're going to learn about a colorimeter. So it's a tool that we're going to be using in science class this semester. And it's an important tool because it allows us to analyze visible light. So in our experiments that we're going to be using the colorimeter, we want to be able to analytically uh, determine the concentration of a colored solution. So if we have a colored solution and we shine some light through it in the visible light range, we are going to be able to measure how much of that light can pass through the solution or how much of the light is absorbed by using the tool called a colorimeter. So the way it works is fairly complicated, uh, but this diagram simplifies it fairly well. So you start with a light source in our colorimeter. It will shoot a beam of light through a lens. The lens directs the light onto a prism. The prism will refract the light and separate the light into its visible wavelengths. So we can see violet and blue and green and yellow, orange and red. And then there's a wavelength selector slit. So on our colorimeter, there will be four different buttons that you can push and it will actually change the wavelength of light that's being projected to, through our sample. Our sample will be stored in a small little device called a cuvette. Uh, our devices are rectangle, so they have square edges. They're not round like the one in this diagram. But what happens is the light will pass through the solution, and some of the light will be absorbed. Some of the light will be transmitted through it, and there is a photocell that can receive how much of the light that is being transmitted through the sample and is re received by the photocell. It'll give us a display, and that's the number that we're going to be using when we make some measurements in the lab. So here's what the colorimeter looks like. This is a colorimeter made by Vernier, and the colorimeter that we use has four different wavelengths to select from. So they range from 430 all the way up to 635 nanometers. So basically the light will shine through the cuvette and the photoreceptor over here will be able to detect how much light passes through the sample in the cuvette. So here's basically how this works. When you shine a light through a solution that absorbs these wavelengths, the 400 to 450, you're going to end up seeing a greenish yellow in color. So the color that's transmitted is the color that's not absorbed. So when you have a blue light shining through a solution, the solution absorbs the blue wavelengths, but the yellow passes through it. So if you look over here on the color wheel, you can see how that works, where you end up absorbing the complementary color is then the color of light that you can see. So these, this chart just kind of gives you an overview of the different wavelengths that are going to be shot through the sample and which color would be absorbed and then which color is transmitted or passed through the substance. So here's a quick little video on how we will use the colorimeter in class. So the first thing we want to do is make sure the device is reading accurately. So you're going to obtain the cuvette and you're going to fill it with distilled water. When you look at the cuvettes, you'll notice one side of the cuvette is clear or two sides are clear and then two sides are kind of beveled so it's it doesn't allow light to pass through it that well so you want to use the clear edge and you want to place it in the colorimeter in the correct spot the other thing you want to make sure you do is wipe off the cuvette to make sure there are no fingerprints left on it place the cuvette into the colorimeter so the arrow which is the direction the light is passing through is passing through the clear side of the cuvette so to calibrate this I just press and hold the cal, cal button and it will re-zero the device and now it's absorbing zero which means all the light is being transmitted through that sample. That's why we use distilled water to begin with. So here's a sample of some green food coloring and you can see the color green. So we place it into the colorimeter, close the lid and it's going to give us an absorbance value. It's relatively low so what I'm going to do next is change the wavelength of light. We're going to increase the wavelength to 470 nanometers and we can see it's absorbing more light because we're shooting a longer wavelength through it. So if we were to do this with green light we probably want to maybe shoot some longer wavelength through it and it's going to absorb more of that light. 
So here's another sample with less green food coloring in it. So think about what might happen to the absorbance value when you add a less dense solution. And sure enough, you end up with a lower absorbance value. So when we're all said and done, we're going to try to use the colorimeter to create a standard curve. So we are going to be given a sample with a solution that we either know the concentration of, and then we're going to go through and do a serial dilution and dilute each sample down by a certain factor. And if we know what that factor is, we can create a nice standard curve for a known solution. So if we know uh, what the standard curve looks like and we get an unknown sample, we can always use that sample to predict or actually calculate what the concentration of that solution is. So that's what a colorimeter is and please make sure you have the pre-lab questions done for tomorrow's class.